The 19th century was an historical age of war and death. During this decade, people escaped these terrors through games, sports, and music. When you think about hopscotch, you tend to think of kids just hopping down the street for no reason. But it turns out that hopscotch was invented in ancient Rome and was a huge hit in the 19th century. Well, kids used to go outside all day until dusk and just play hopscotch. And it was actually played identically to how it's played today. So, interesting enough, hopscotch actually doesn't refer to Scotland. It has to do with the 17th century term a scotcher, which means to cut with a stick. And that could refer to the children making the squares in order to play hopscotch. Zoetrophs were toys for adults, I guess you could say. They were very expensive, so they can be considered a delicacy. They were first sold in the 1820s. The way this Zoetrop worked was you would have this circular disc with slits mounted into it, and you would have images on the inside of the disc. And when this Zoetrop was spun, you could look through and see on the far interior a moving animation. The name of this toy had a Greek origin. Zoa meant life and tropos meant turning. In 1843, you could say a gamer revolution happened. The first board game, The Mansion of Happiness, was created. So the object of this Mansion of Happiness was to go around the spiral track and at the center there was a Mansion of Happiness and the winner would reach that Mansion of Happiness first. In the 1860s, a famous toy was a ball made out of fabric scraps. It was especially great for young children because it was soft and loosely constructed. So this cloth ball was usually used for the game Catch, and it was really good because it was safe for younger children to use. Hand shadows were considered an art in the 19th century. Henry Bursell was known for making many illustrious hand shadow pictures. All he needed was hands, a light source, and creativity. An important sport of the 19th century was one that we know and love today, baseball, and it consisted of two teams. There was five to ten members in each, and there was a pitcher and a batter. And the batter tried to hit the pitcher's ball and run to the opposite side and bat before being hit by the ball. A game that was very similar to baseball in the 19th century was rounders. And rounders was a game that was played with two teams, just like baseball, only the rounder teams were 6 to 15 players. And the pitcher, or bowler in rounders, would bowl the ball and he had to throw it in between the knee and the head of the batter. And when he bowled it, he would not have to let the ball hit the ground or go wide of the batter and this would be called a no ball and a rounder can be scored one of two ways. The most common ways of getting out is being caught by a fielder, being stomped at a post, or being inside the post. When at a post, you must stay in contact with it. When the bowler is inside a square, you may not move between posts. There may be only one batter at each post and when arriving at the fourth post, you must touch it. Another significant part of 19th century sports was the game of cricket. And cricket was played on an open circular field, and it was 350 yards in diameter. And it consisted of two sides with 11 players, and they attempted to put out the batsman. In the middle of the field is the pitch, which is dry land 22 yards long. And on opposite sides are two batsmen, one facing the bowler. This person tries to prevent the bowler from knocking down the bales off the wickets. Croquet was a game usually played on a freshly mowed lawn, about 100 feet by 50 feet, and it began with a coin toss, but there wasn't really an advantage to a player going first. But the first player placed the ball midway between the uh, stoke and the stake and the wickets and the wickets were placed in front of them. And if they got the ball through both wickets, they, were they retrieved bonus strokes. Each ball may only be replayed 
once per turn, unless the ball has gone through the wickets or has hit the turning state. Even so, more than one ball may be required between wickets. If the ball has been struck two times and still not gone through the wickets, then there is no penalty rewarded and there is no bonus rewarded. In 1885, the safety bicycle was the safest way to travel, and people who lived in the town would travel out using their bicycles to the countryside. And in 1885 and 1892, they were put on the sale and bicycling clubs became common. Track bicycles are used for track cycling, while cycle cross races are held on rugged terrain. In the past decade, mountain biking has reached international popularity and has even become an Olympic sport. In the 19th century, music was popular but it was rare, since only the wealthy could listen to music that often. In the 19th century, people were lucky if they could hear music twice in their life, even though there weren't many people who could hear music, there were concerts displaying many different types of it, like classical for the wealthy. There were also war chants and tunes from soldiers coming to and from battle. These were often sad or about rage. There are many different types of music. There was religious, folk, classical, and popular. And in folk music, they told a story called a ballad. And in many of these songs, the author is unknown. Classical music was not the same in the 1800s as we think of it today. They thought of classical music as like modern and new. Like they thought of it like we think of Jay-Z and Chris Brown. Religious music was made by musicians such as Bach and Mozart. Songs were made by slaves and some classics were This Little Light of Mine and When the Saints Go March Again. Popular music was passed down from generation to generation or it was well known from an artist and plays displayed a lot of popular music and it appealed to a lot of different types of people. Some examples are Dixie and O Susanna. Slave chants were also heard in the 19th century. Some slave songs included Run Mona Run and O Sinner Man. O Sinner Man has been remade many times but originated in the 19th century by slaves working on the fields.